There's, there's one more thing I would like to talk a lot about as well, or just at least have a segment, and I'm only going to mention it, and I'm going to move on, because if I don't mention it, I haven't done this topic justice. What about suicide? You see, there, there are some people who have been a, in a Christian tradition that has conditioned them to think suicide is an unrepentable sin. Suicide is murder. Suicide, therefore, can never be forgiven by God because how can you repent of it? How can you confess it? How can you ask God for forgiveness for it? And, and here's what I, I think we, we need to understand. I do not, and please don't think less of me, although I'm going to invite you to by what I say now. I will die with unconfessed, unrepented sin. Some of which I'm not even aware of. And God help us all if we have to know everything we've done wrong or haven't done right that we should confess and seek forgiveness for before we die. Here's my point. The grace of Jesus Christ did not depend on you earning forgiveness from God. Now I know I run the risk of sounding like so you're saying if, if someone is a Christian and they commit suicide, it's, it's okay? I'm not saying that. I'm saying this, that if you think that person is damned to hell for eternity, I believe you are completely deluded. You are completely misguided. You have no biblical basis to believe that. And this is why. I, I mentioned... Uh, uh, that we, we are not just meat from the top down, we're not just carbon. And I know people say inside our cranium is a neurological machine called a brain. I actually don't believe that. I believe there is a brain, I believe it's a neurological machine, but I believe it is like a piano and the, the, the pianist is our mind. And you know what, sometimes that piano is broken. We've got a piano at our place that has some wrong strings in it. And so, da, 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 bleh. And it's like, it's dysfunctional. It doesn't quite work. And some people's minds, the brain gets damaged. They also end up with, with things that cause their mind not to process things. So the piano is broken. And they end up in such a dark place that that damage leads them sometimes to take their life. Is that right? No, it's not right. But does it mean they're damned to hell for eternity? No, it doesn't. And in that I think we need to have great compassion for people. And some of us have been affected by people who have committed suicide. And I want to say as plainly as I can, suicide is never the solution to life's pain. It's never the solution. So here's my, I, I, I put it out there as I, I, I'm, I'm coming to a conclusion, but here it is. If you are battling with suicidal thoughts... Please, come and talk to us. And I know that might be difficult for you because you know intuitively that's not right, it's not healthy, and we can help you process that maybe better. That's my offer. Any time of day, any day of the week. Mm -hmm.